What's up guys, it's Roxy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute Christmas wreath by recycling toilet rolls. It takes a bit of time, but it's really fun to make and the end result is gorgeous. So let's get right into it. To make this wreath, begin by cutting your toilet rolls into 6 pieces each for the perfect width. To make this process easier, first fold and cut the roll in half, then cut each half into 3 pieces so you'll get 6 pieces in total. These will be the leaves of your wreath, so paint them green. Acrylic paint is the best option. Poster paint will rub off once it's dry and make everything it touches green, so avoid using that. You may use spray paint which is quicker, but keep in mind that it will give a shiny metallic finish. Once doughs are dry, Glue down any of the unraveling edges with a glue gun. Then shape them into 5 petal flowers and glue them together. You'll need to make a bunch of these. The bigger the wreaths, the more you'll need. I found that 9 was just about the right size. Now you can start building it into a circle. Do this by interlocking the petals with each other. Try to get the shape as round as possible. Once you are satisfied with the arrangement, glue them all together. Glue together all the touching points to make sure the wreath is nice and strong. Adding another layer on top gives the wreath a fuller appearance and also strengthens it. But I decided not to do that because quite frankly, I was lazy. <laughs> Finally, you can decorate this with ribbons or just leave it as it is or add some red beads like I decided to do to make it look like holly. I didn't actually have red beads so I painted some glass ones with red acrylic paint but I like how it looks anyways. You can also paint tiny polystyrene balls red to make the berries as well. The holes on the beads really make it look more like berries and not just little red balls. Once again, plan where you'd like to place them and if you're happy with the arrangement, glue them on with hot glue gun. And once you're done with that, your wreath is complete and ready to be hung up. If you're worried about how sturdy the wreath is, hang it on two nails instead of one like I've done here. The bigger the wreath, the heavier it will be, so it's best to distribute the weight this way. Yes, physics does apply to arts and crafts as well. And that's all guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year!